this seal is worn off people it won't stick back again so it's all wobbly uh, so I don't know how I'm going to keep this in a good order if you see what I mean So finally this morning I received the Sony's WF-1000 Maximum 4 earbuds and it's been more than a week since I placed an order actually I placed an order on the release date but comparing to the other products for example Pixel product which could take up to two months if you're based in UK because they give huge um, preferential treatment to the US customers um, Sony has done very well actually so it's eight days since it's been released so not bad well done Sony for that so the actual package itself actually one side is a bit worn out for some reason when I received it you can see that it's actually a condensed paper package and it makes a lot of sense I think Sony is actually trying to say that we're going for an extremely environmentally friendly uh, approach here so I like the message here but somehow if you're looking in to resell it, I don't think it's going to look well for, for reselling point of view. But anyhow, um, I don't think I'm going to resell it because this is probably going to be the one of the best um, earbuds that's going to be released this year or probably ever so far. Now, comparing to the over the ear um, package, yeah, that's that's the contrast you get. I mean, I do like the actual genuine Sony uh, package and somehow this time it's a bit of a surprise move but well done I would say anyhow so it has the eight hours plus the 16 hours so each earbuds will have eight hours of play time and then you could charge it twice so it's 24 hours of usage and it's the industrial leading noise cancelling and C um, active noise cancellation that is how oh, I haven't actually personally experienced a um, earbud that has a noise cancelling I know the uh, airpod Pro actually has it but um, good luck to that actually I know that uh, this one will be much better anyhow it also has the bone um, conducting uh, sensor and also the wind resisting um, phone call system and so on so it makes a lot of sense why it's 250 and Sony has done very well for themselves for the uh, earbuds and the headphones um, industry and I'm really excited about it anyhow so enough said let's get into the unboxing so here it goes you pull that out carefully attached detached and the moment of truth ah. so we got the one two three four which we'll get back to but before that this is the actual unit we have here thing that you need to take it out seal that needs to come out what is this an arrow that needs to be pulled out so now it's been charging and that's the ear but before we get into that we got the number one two three four but within that you get all these um, instructions 360 yeah I'm aware of that and of how to use it after that is the actual cable USB cable that you can use to charge and this is obviously the USB-C and I know this one the last one is the actual size of the ear plug should we say so if we take this out so this is very interesting this time um, quite a special made I don't know whether some other youtubers actually have raised it but within the actual sponge seal there's another um, rubbery end of joint so it's differently made so I just want to highlight that that's probably the way how it's designed to make the sound much better the large size and the small size so it's up to you which one you prefer compared to the Bang & Olufsen E8 that I love actually I still keep it for many years it's smaller and more neat um, and also good weight on it as well I have to say the opening and the closing movement is a bit light but then again we shall see how long it will last so if we actually take out the actual earbuds itself so this is the right hand side unit so you can see the sensor and also the charging bit um, and the big red R sign on it and um, 
this is what I like about this design. If someone looks at your earbuds, they know that this whole cir circular means that you're one of those trendy techie guy. And um, I'm just gonna love showing this off. And um, we got this Sony logo here. Well, as we got this air grill that reminds me of the XM4 over the ear headphone. I don't know whether you have noticed from your XM4 headphone, there's a same, but a minimized air grill attached to it which I'm sure is related to the um, active noise cancellation. And so that's, that's actually the right-hand side earbuds. So if we look at the left-hand side, I'm sure it's gonna be the pretty much the same case as well. So the left is only that it's the gray circle on it. Yeah, the case is all right actually, but I wish it was a bit more settled, but it's a bit wobbly, I have to say. I'm being extremely picky here, but then again, it's because of there is a bit of a gap. There's a USB-C here. And one, I, one thing I do like about this case is that once you open and close, there's this amber blinking light and then it slowly disappears. But in fact, the original package is a bit of an issue, actually. I wanna keep all these packages in a good order, but once you actually took this apart and trying to put it back together, this seal is worn off, people. It won't stick back again, so it's all wobbly. Uh, so I don't know how I'm going to keep this in a good order, if you see what I mean. I have to put it in a very tight space to be able to put it all together. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, it shows a diagram where you could actually squeeze out water if it actually gets stuck into the actual unit, hey? That's how much of waterproof it is this time. So there are two ways to connect it up to your smartphone and, um, if you haven't got an app, you just use that QR code to download the actual app. But I actually do have the whole app set up. So all I need to do is to actually put the, both of the earbuds on my left and right and then press the button and then uh, you'll hear the Bluetooth pairing sound and then you just need to pair it up with your Bluetooth. The moment of truth, let's actually put it on my ears. It says on the right hand side, battery 80% and on the left hand side, uh, battery is 100% which is really good actually <laughs> so it's pairing yes pair so that's all done oh actually I need to update the update version so let's do that yeah okay 94 case and 30 that is actually shows the details of the battery level in the case and the earbuds each individual earbuds as well um, yes, let's use the voice assistant on. So the way how you um, control it on the left hand side uh, earbud is that tap once and noise cancelling, double tap is receive calls, uh, triple there's nothing there it seems, and the ongoing tap continue press quick attention reject a call. Um, for the next which is the right hand side earbuds, one tap is play pause, two tap is next song receive a call, and triple tap on the right hand side is previous song and the constant tap or press is launch the voice assistant function and so on okay so the status and the sound um, controlling is the same as the xm4 headphones and on the system itself um, is quite different actually so there's the change and touch sensor function so you can actually customize the uh, all the functions that we just gone through here um, yeah, and also the ambient sound control operation settings and it's a quite a complex um, a device actually even though it's a earbuds it's getting cleverer and cleverer every day people and um, as you know we have the latest updated 8.1 uh, software so let's hear the um, music called contest by Buddha so here it goes That's very good. I like that. Nice opening. Yeah, the sound is clear, but I think it's slightly diluted. I don't know whether that's the right term, but let's look at the... Um, yeah, the beats are right, actually. Very settled, very professionally done, but let's check the actual Sony app to see yeah, it's on my favorite EQ of the excited mode. Yeah, it's all really good, professionally done. 
But I, if I'm being really picky, I wish it has a bit more sharpness as much as the uh, Sony XM4 over the ear head, headphone set actually. So yeah, but then again, it's earbuds. So I, don't, I wouldn't expect it to be the same quality. But for the earbud itself, it's really, really good. For the copyright issue, I can't play the track, but when I do the ultimate test of a earbud is I used to, I tend to play the Prodigy Time, Time Bomb Zone. And what's amazing is um, I can't really hear the uh, outside noise other than the music itself. So there's the ANC there, but let's actually listen to the actual beat when it runs in. So here it goes. Is it on a maximum volume? Yeah, it's a bit weak. The maximum volume seems to be a bit weak. Or is it maybe me? I wish there was a bit more sharpness to it. It's just softened up. I mean, it's don't get me wrong, it's really good, but... The power, the strength of the sound needs to be enhanced a bit. I mean, I'm being really picky here, but um, slightly disappointed actually. Or is there a function that you could enhance the sound? So it's a very interesting result actually. Um, yes, there's an ANC. Yes, there's a bit of a weight on it. Yes, it's Sony and it's the XM4 series. So it should be one of the best earbuds available. But my brain is keep telling me that it should be at least the same quality as the uh, WH-1000 XM4 over the ear headphones and in fact I have to say unfortunately it's not as good as this obviously this is much better um, but I think it's not a fair comparison to make between these two even though they're both Sony because this is the earbud and this is the um, headphone actually and it's more expensive obviously with the headphone is more practical and so on and I think the the fair comparison is to make against my um, Bang & Olufsen E8 which I will do so on my next video and my um, Pixel Buds 2 as well. So um, let's see if this earbud is one of the best earbuds uh, in its class or on its model or whatever you want to call it. But regards to the sound co comparison with the uh, Sony uh, WH-1000 XM4 headphones is not as good or maybe it's if, uh, it, probably that's the stupid statement to make but um, it still has the ens essence with it but I wish there was a bit more strength on it because I'm sure the Bang & Olufsen E8 actually has a strength on it if you see what I mean. Anyhow, it fits very well comfortably with, on your ears and um, there are a lot of things that I think one needs to observe, let's say possibly in like in three months time or six months time to see whether the quality remains and so on. But so far, hmm, I would like to say probably ha had too much expectation. There is a slight disappointment that I need to figure out that needs a bit of a time to come back to you if you see what I mean. But anyhow, I hope this video gave you a bit of a um, impression, good impression or detailed impression of what this earbud is about. But if you have any uh, queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.